um, most likely small battlefield was picked. Yeah. Tafolo making a run for himself. I feel like every other time he's went like 1 2 at best, but now he's sitting here in a loser semifinals for the first time. So he's one he's capable of. Maybe it's because he's playing Lucina instead of Marth. Because <laughs> he usually That's... plays Marth. This might be his first Lucina at the time. And, uh, you know, just kind of goes to show how different the characters are, and that even if Marth is super cool, uh, Lucina is indeed the one that is top tier. And yep. it's like that for a reason. But Alibi, uh, if you don't know the matchup against me, Gunner, and against Alibi, he can make this character look super top tier. He has so many, so many tricks. He has so many tricks, and he's definitely mastered a lot of the movement tech uh, for uh, for me, Gunner. Yeah, especially doing so like, like reverse fares. Reverse fares. Um, reverse fares. The uppy uh, uppy skid. Mm -hmm. Like he's been, he's really good at that. But the scary thing about Alibi is. It doesn't matter what character he picks. He has a really good ability to just spam a forward smash and it works. <laughs> He's good at catching people like with stuff like that. Yeah, I'm surprised we ended up on Hollow Bastion game one. This seems like a really good stage for me, Gunner. Me, Gunner loves holding I, that center stage under the platform and make it awful for you to do anything. But, but what about Lucina? Like you saw right there, you just took the first stock. That has nothing to do with Hollow Bastion. That was just a lunch drum. Yeah, but I don't care. It could be. Let's see, Alibi take a stock. The stage is broken for me, Gunner. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, cool. So, game's relatively even. Um, yeah, it seems like Alibi is trying to, more so kind of planting himself at ledge though and not really trying to take the center stage. So Tavol is kind of getting the center stage for free and Alibi is automatically backing himself into a corner. Because he's definitely done stuff he can do to, to take center stage. Like he shot a grenade, kind of walked center stage and then just went back. Because like you, you got to be holding that center stage the best you, you can. Because the closer you are to the ledge, obviously the worst position you're in. He's really racking up those uh, percentages. Yeah, he's got a few quick combos in here, but Tafalu still does have the lead, but taking the stock against Alibi can be an ordeal that not a lot of people are great at. Oh, man. And just with his bag of really, tricks, he can take your stock. And you got the grenade pressure. So many ways. But that would destroy people on Wi-Fi, me, Gunner's grenade. Yeah. We it's... got the back air. Are we going to see another yep. back? Yeah, we do see another back oh, air. And barely makes almost it back. just an SD. That is... Both these players clearly not afraid of going out far for edge guards. I know that's like an alibi staple. I haven't seen too much of Tavalu, but uh, I think he but like, doing a good job with it. If he's able to find those openings, he can hard edge guard Alibi. No. Oh, alibi is alive. Yeah, no, no panic tech no. or anything. He knows you don't need to tech one. Is that low well, percent? No. But also uh, <laughs> that up B is really really good. I just love how Me Gunner has two up Bs that are just a straight line, and he has that one. Yeah. I, I definitely think the biggest thing here is that Alibi is immediately putting himself into the corner. This, like, stage positioning just leads to so many good situations immediately for Tofalu because he yeah. seems to be good at going under these grenades and figuring out the attack pattern of me Gunner. He's trying to zone him out, and it's just not working. Yeah. You, you gotta... Like, he has to now play aggressive, which he can still do. He can definitely do, yeah. Oh, no, getting punished on the up smash. Too much invincibility oh. still from the angel platform. Ooh. Oh man, if that grenade actually hit him. We got the back air. Yep. All right, uh, ledge once again. Is he gonna find a way off? Finally does. And he's getting into advanced state for himself. He reads the jump, but doesn't get anything out of it. Oh, yep. yep. Playing it safe with the tech roll. Because if he either did neutral or uh, forward roll, that would have just caught. So, to follow, gonna be taking game number one here. We'll have to see. Like I said, I think if you're not trying to hold that stage positioning under the center stage, I think a stage like PS2 could be good. Just kind of give you more space in general. So when I you're far away from Tofalu, you might not be necessarily at the ledge and you have a bit more space. I actually am now curious of whether or not Small Battlefield was banned game one. Maybe. Now I'm actually kind of thinking about that. Yeah. I think... Uh, Planting yourself like under the PS2 platform since you're already kind of at ledge is going to be significantly better than a Hollow Bastion for just how Alibi's playing it. So we'll have to see if that ends up working for him or if Topolo is just going to continue keeping him at corner and not giving him a chance to get anything going. Because he's already at corner here once again. That would have been a nasty two frame with oh, the down that, if he got that. Oh my that god. That would have been nutty. He's, so a bunch of orders. he's just up in his face right now, Alibi. Alibi really took a took what, I, took what we said that uh, he should be playing a lot more aggressive. I don't know if he should necessarily be playing more aggressive. He just, yeah, but with how last game was going, he needed to hold his ground a bit better. Well, 
If you're me, Gunner, you don't necessarily want to be playing aggressive. Well, in this case, it's more reckless than aggressive. True. That is understandable if you want to be doing that. Yeah. yeah. Oh. With the... Sorry. So we got the up smash going in. So he's, he's putting himself under this platform a bit better. Just Ooh. how he generally plays is compliment. Being complimented a lot by the stage right Last now. Attack. We, we are seeing the forward air yeah. uh, launch. Classic alibi edge guard right there. It's always it, beautiful to see. It is actually a really good uh, just edge guard for me, Gunner. Yeah, it's like I, I don't... I can't say I really watch me gunners, but I know like Pope Jesus never never does anything like that, and then Alibi is just here out here going crazy. He is going ham for those edge guards. One thing you never you expect the me gunners to just go up and set up a ledge trap, and then Alibi comes in here and just uses movement tech that you've never seen before to get off stage super far. And uh, this game is working out a lot better for him. This stock has like he's barely been hit. And me gunner is I believe the. Oh, that's a regrab. Yeah, no, we, yeah. yeah. He tried to stall it out as much as he could, but you can't, unfortunately, not in that situation. But we do get the... Well, drag down up Ooh. there, looking like Joker out here. <laughs> uh, Joker Sands. Unfortunately, I don't think you can do a uh, fair up air and drag down up air into down touch, but, you know, make and do with what he's got. Great oh, kill absolutely. setup. And he's at ledge once again, but uh, this center platform really making it a bit harder for Tafalu to get in. Or sorry, just this platform. Oh, on we, got the, we got the edge guards. He's just edge guarding them hard. That almost looked like an SD because he kept doing the side Bs, but I guess he's using the side Bs to position uh, himself If correctly. you jump and then side B at the apex of your jump, you get a little more height. Really? Yeah, so if, you, if you're down as low as possible, that's actually how you want to recover. Wow. I actually didn't know that. So it is tactical. Also just kind of stalling as well, but it does indeed give you more height. Hey, but any any uh, chance to actually stall could be really good, mm -hmm. even if it's just for a moment. Especially against me, Gunner, if they're using a bunch of grenades at ledge, you got to time that grab to the ledge so you don't get too framed by it. And this stock's going a lot better for Tavalu. He's making up some ground, but uh, it might be a little too late. We're seeing some... Uh, I, I don't know if I just saw, like, a pivot tilt. <laughs> Maybe I... Whoop. No, I was like... We got that out of the force smash. Will that kill? Yes, it will. Yep. Oh my goodness. A game of two going to Alibi. Battlefield, Smashville are the are the stage bands. We're gonna have to see. I, I assume to follow might just go back to like Hollow Bastion. It makes that game sense. Works, worked really well for him. Get something with less space, make Alibi a bit more uncomfortable. Make it so Would you're it like be... always pressuring him with the sword. No, SB. We're gonna see small battlefield. I mean, sure, it's the blast zones are smaller both uh, horizontally and vertically, but I don't think that's going to do well. Like, I, like generally, when I think about stages, I more so think of the platform layout and the stage itself, and not the blast zones, which I probably should do more. But I tend blast to, zones do they do matter? I tend to think about the actual like stage layout more. I feel like that matters more to me. But well, it's it's more character specific. Like yeah. I'm thinking more about. Um, Thinking about tofu, like I could see why small battlefield would be be a good idea, because not only is it good for stage layout, but of course it's the stadium one layout. Mm -hmm. Catching the jump there with the nair F smash, not gonna catch it. Tavalu barely just weaving himself out of there. Ooh, tried to try to catch him with the up smash. Like the up smash hitbox is generous for Gunner, but not that generous. Positioned himself a bit too close to the ledge there, so the grenades didn't stay on ledge. It lets the follow get back, but uh, oh, maybe not this are... time. Oh, yep, nope, just in the grab. Just smart to not just do anything, just let it go. But unfortunately, yep, the me gunner grenades. I'm gonna get him two frame there, and Alibi's gonna take this first stock. Yeah, Alibi just playing it safe, just launching himself out of there. Oh, that was that was pretty good. Yeah, it's a great economy. He knows this character inside and out. Like, he gets a hit and he knows what he can do after it. It's really beautiful to see when it you've seen someone play a niche character for that long and just demonstrate everything they have. No, it's still living. Follow again, time. the power of, again, I believe being the seventh heaviest character in the game. Really? Yeah, no, me gunners are incredibly uh, heavy. I said there are like eight heavies. I, okay, I no, no, like no not like the se actual seventh heavy. When it comes to like all the values of weight, I think me gunners are either the seventh or the eighth heaviest. But regardless, me gunner is heavy. Okay. Alright. Follow gonna get some nice up airs here on the platforms. Playing a juggling trick on him, but F tilt's gonna send him over to the ledge. 
Well, Alba's trying to call it so many jumps here at ledge, which I mean, it makes sense because generally Miguna's options cover neutral get up really well, so you kind of want to jump in between yeah. them, but Alba knows that and he's catching so many jumps with he it. He actually just straight up was also covering roll with down smash, like, mm -hmm. wow, like, it's, it's very scary when you're able to multi-layer a, uh, like, a situation like that. Back air. We are seeing a forward air. Oh, we got... Juggle Pardon me for some strange reason, feel like he was going to go for down air, but like... Oh, down there's a down air. <laughs> the down air spike is... Oh, man. That move is... Uh... I don't even know which character down air you're talking about. Uh, I'm talking about the guys down air, because the spike hitbox is actually inside right. uh, the actual spark. So like... The chances of you actually hitting it are 50-50. Yeah, it's definitely not the best downer ever, but you know. No, nah, it's not. Sometimes you get it. Let's we'll see if Tafalu can bring this one back, but he's at ledge here. Oh, no. Waits for the F smash that Alava is going for a lot, but the grenade. Well, this F smash is him. just such a good move. Yeah, it covered like everything there, honestly. He covered wait on ledge, and then F smash covered all the options. That. I'm not going to take it. Yeah, yeah just the up smash yeah, will do it. Yeah, up smash. And now it is 2-1 for Alibi. He's figured something out here. Crowds, I think the bigger stages are definitely helping him out. The crowds are popping off. I couldn't tell what stages were banned, but I believe the same bands play. Same bands uh, play. Same so. stages going on. So we are still seeing Lucina. We are still seeing the Sands. Yeah. It's like you're not going to be able to go Marth and do better here. It's like, yeah. No, unfortunately. Lucina's going to do better in almost every matchup. So... It just makes me really sad about Marth. <laughs> eh. I mean, yeah, I like Marth a lot too. It's like Lucina is better, and if Tavala's doing better, that's that's probably better than having a Marth. I think Tavala's probably going to be a lot happier making top four with Lucina than going one two with Marth. Yeah, yeah. It's just the unfortunate reality of the characters in this game. But uh, Tavala just. Taking him around here with these forward airs. Just anywhere he's going, planting it very nicely. Working around the projectiles here. Trying to go far out, but Alibi able to fade back just enough to get out of there. And find an up smash to get himself the first stock. Just stop being between these platforms. He's just... I guess he's just zigzagging around just he's because he wants time. to get away at the even's ability frames. It's also probably just a mental game of, haha, you can't get me, you can't get me, kind of thing. Alibi, or not Alibi, uh, Tafalu going for a lot of shield breakers here when I'm pretty sure his shield's pretty full, so I don't actually know if it would break. But, regardless, they're not even hitting at this point. It's not the easiest move to hit ever. It is not. Backing up here into the corner, but playing around this one platform. Alibi's gonna come out victorious in that little scramble. But, yo. The boost uh, wasn't the best idea. Tavala managed to cover it there, but Alibi still with a small lead, bagging himself onto the ledge. Yeah, we got the... Oh, I'm thinking he was wanting to go for a Nair again. Kind of like that. Is that going to be death? Which, yeah, yeah, no, that is going right, to be death. Yes. Alibi, a full stock up now. Full stock up. We may see him in top three. Yep. Which I think in this PR season would be the first time he's made top three. So... Tavalu gonna try to not let that happen and make it for himself, but this lead from Alibi is just oh, relentless. Oh, yep, and that no. is Oh he stole his jump, okay. Yeah, he still saved the jump. Again, that me gunner down air is not yep. the best. Well, he manages to make it back. He's Let's on his last back, legs though, this grenade oh, isn't gonna do it. it. Is not, but the down smash. Like yeah. he just he just wants to end just, it. Just an F smash or what, something. Alibi, bro. What are you doing, man? Just end the just end it, man. He's taking a page out of Nitro's book. Smash <laughs> down smash like five times in a row. Oh, but we got the upper. Yeah, the, those smash attacks on shield. He just oh. has. There we go. You got to do like he's, a smash attack. He's trying to do an aerial landing aerial. That's taking so much time. He's trying to just do it. You like just stick to your game plan. Yeah, Forward smash her. is the move. And no, no Alibi stood he popped up. off too hard. He, he didn't pop off. He just stood up. Yeah, but like that's close enough. Like, like he was standing up to give a fist bump and like take his headphones off. He definitely wasn't popping off. I still count it, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, okay, but at least the I next move. I need to know your criteria of pop off. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, like anything can be a pop off if done right. 
Regardless, Tafalu has a second oh chance to make this back and get this stock, get this game. Oh my god. Alibi in a bad position. A Alibi is in a bad position. Oh no. No jump. Oh my god. The up air. Oh. Not going to make it. Alibi. Oh no, the grab, but the nair. Makes it back. With the comeback. So I am, I'm unfortunately going to be counting that as a taunt to get body. <laughs> <laughs> Where was the taunt? The He's... taunt was literally the game was already the game wasn't over yet. You're already saying uh, that's not a taunt or whatever the hell I was going to call it. Okay. <laughs> this isn't making you smile, so at least I'm doing something right. <laughs> uh... Game five, no character change. We are on PS2. All right. Game number five here. We do have a bigger stage, like you said, with PS2 here, which seems to play to Alibi's advantage. So we'll see if Tafalu can channel what he had in that last stock of last game. Or if Alibi's going to run away with it and not let that last stock get to him. I sincerely hope that doesn't get to him. I, like, he thought the game was over, but mm -hmm. it ain't over until the announcer says game. That is very true. And Alibi here finally getting his first hit. We'll have to see if he can make this full stock back, but Tafalu, relentless right now. Playing super well, jumping around the projectiles and all the grinded moves that uh, Alibi is throwing out. Just weaving around these projectiles super nicely, but these dash attacks are catching Tafalu trying to do his dashbacks. Which seems to be what's working out for him right now. Ooh. Catches a jump. Oh, that would have been sick. Yeah. I don't think he wanted to go off stage there. I think he was accidentally missed the stage and went off stage and just had to recover. Even then, the shot would have been would have been kind of cool. Oh, yeah. he okay. should have just stick to his gun on the second grenade. That probably would have hit. But we got the back air. Oh, he's moving. He's not happy with this right now. He is not. And unfortunately, for a situation like this, having that, having just a slip on your mental state is not good. Yeah, that could definitely cost you the whole game if you just can't get back into it. And let Tafalu get his juggles off like this, finding the air dodge too, but not getting the hit off of it. Alibi yeah, retreating into the corner. Yeah, no, Alibi's cornering himself. He's trying to shoot projectiles. He wants to basically get like a back throw or something like that. But again, Tafalu doesn't have to engage in this situation. He's got the stock lead. This yeah. is going to be a case of Alibi has to be aggressive. Tavalu is just like happy here to just kind of stay back and trying to find his way in very patiently. Sometimes it's not going to work out, but no, we got seems to be working in his in his favor most of the time. Almost a full stock down here for Alibi. Try not to get left in percent, but it might be happening any time now. Oh, but the up air, nope, it doesn't kill. Just getting up smash on the landing, but the Nair is going to beat it out. Oh no! A high odd recovery, but he does make it out. 125 on to follow. That's the Nair into up air. Yeah. I feel like, oh no. The up smash didn't uh, block the up smash. Oh, he's just throwing yeah, them out he, there. He wants this kill, but Tifalu... he wants the kill. It's just not gonna happen. He's getting so many hits on shield. Like I feel like if a lot of these could be grabs and just getting hits out of it. Obviously, grabs not gonna kill. You're not gonna be going for them as much. Right. Al right. Alibi is just throwing out those moves, and Tafalu is just waiting for them. Uh, Alibi, Alibi unhappy. is. That's Al really, it's really unfortunate after getting that fake kill screen that it's like you think it's gonna kill. You think it's gonna kill, but it didn't. So it sometimes you up. know that it's not gonna kill, but like everyone here thought it was. We thought it was gonna kill too. But uh, oh, we got, we got the reversal. Okay, he finally gets stuck. Suck. You it's make potentially it possible he can to. Uh, a reverse three stock. Like you said, it's not over until the announcer says game. Exactly. Al I, I believe. I believe Alibi. I've seen Alibi make some crazy comebacks. He definitely can. Uh, but nope. Right now, Tafalu's just adding on the percent. You got to get some crazy edge guard or ledge trap that just keeps Tafalu in disadvantage for a long time. The, down, the down air needs to hit. Hey, oh, that was almost it. Alibi opting for a normal ledge option after a bunch of his fancy ones were getting caught with back airs. Sent to ledge again. Got to set something up, but he's not using his grenades or anything. 
I don't believe the position would have worked, but, Ooh, the, but okay. the Nair! The Nair worked, okay. Alibi so this is good. Up. And Alibi, Ooh. but he gets the Forest Smash, but you know, Gunner's pretty heavy. Yeah, gotta cover himself with a grenade, get himself careful. back he to can't, stage. He can't corner himself now, because if he's, he gets cornered himself and he messes up once, that's it. Yeah, you gotta hold this center stage he, for all your worth. Oh! Oh no! You went for it! Oh, he didn't go too low, he's still alive! Getting off ledge. Oh my He's goodness. racking up percent. Alibi might make this one the whole way back. He might make the reverse three stock. The grenade's gonna send Alibi over. He's getting the center no, stage back. That's it. it was too safe. He's shielded. No. That is it. And then the up smash. Goes for the fancy option too. Like you did not need to shield break it there. You could have up smashed or something. So like. It was definitely not the option he should have went for, but it worked out in his favor anyway.